Remember when they said green jobs were going to be the wave of the future? Mm -hmm. Well, now a Portland renewable energy company is laying off 25 employees from the downtown headquarters. The reason is an expiring federal tax credit. It may or may not be renewed next year. New at 5:30, Coin Local Six reporter Casey Montoya is live with what's next now for that company. Casey. Well, Kelly, this is an issue that the president touched on last night in his State of the Union address, but officials here at City Hall and at the company now blaming the government for these layoffs, saying if Congress would just pass a long-term tax credit, they would actually be able to grow and maybe even add to the workforce. Because of federal investments, renewable energy use has nearly doubled, and thousands of Americans have jobs because of it. But that may be on hold for a while. Ibadrola Renewable Energy, with U.S. headquarters in the Pearl District, laid off 50 workers this week, 25 in Portland. And we just happen to be in a cyclical business, and right now we're in a down cycle. Jan Johnson is the communication director for Ibadrola. She says the reason for the layoffs are simple. Poor economy in general, low energy prices, and regulatory uncertainty. That regulatory uncertainty, one of the topics of the president's State of the Union address Tuesday night. We've subsidized oil companies for a century. That's long enough. It's time to end the taxpayer giveaways to an industry that rarely has been more profitable and double down on a clean energy industry that never has been more promising. Pass clean energy tax credits. Create these jobs. But the reality. You know, at this point, we don't have the bill passed. There is a bill in Congress that would extend this production tax credit for four years. However, we have a lot of um, lack of action in Washington right now. In fact, the wind industry is scaling back on future plans while lawmakers decide whether to extend the production tax credit over the next few weeks. The wind provision is expected to be voted on as part of the deal to extend payroll tax breaks. If it doesn't make it, it likely won't be considered until after the November elections. Uh, Mayor Adams took a trip to Spain to meet with a company to try and get a commitment that they would stay here with their headquarters in Portland. Now, he didn't get that, but there is something in the works here at City Hall with the company to try and make it beneficial to them to stay here in Portland, and a public subsidy of some kind is expected. That means your tax dollars will be spent trying to keep the second largest wind producing company in the country here in the Rose City. Reporting for you live in downtown Portland, Casey Montoya, Quinn Local 6. And we'll see what